Hi everyone, Colón Zamora back for Stay With It. Uh, it's a new week and I started a new project where I get to do some validation work. So I'm really excited about that. My last two internships, which add up to just over a year of experience, were mainly in validation. So I feel that that's definitely where I shine. And also, as a hardware-focused electrical engineer, I definitely feel more comfortable in the lab than in a purely programming setting. Um, moving on, I really wanted to cover a question that I've been getting a lot, which is how I got my first internship and how others can go about getting their first internship. So I feel one main thing is that you have to stand out from the crowd. Um, a lot of people seem to have the notion that the recruitment process is automated, like you take variables such as your GPA and classes you've taken and that there's some sort of formula that automatically chooses the best candidates. But that's not necessarily true. Um, recruiters are human and you have to do your best to stand out from the other applicants that they get. Um, you also have to realize that just going to class is the absolute minimum you can do because everybody's expected to go to class. So one good thing is to join a student group. Uh, I joined the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers and within the first semester that I became an active member, I got my first offer. So um, my main work there wasn't anything special. It was putting together a, a newsletter that went out to our recruiters. So um, definitely seek these out. Uh, there's National Society of Black Engineers, uh, Society of Women Engineers. There's also industry specific groups like IEEE for electricals, uh, ASCE for civil, um, AKI for chemical. And these are a great way for you to get some extra work outside of class and show, showcase some of those skills that um, your GPA doesn't necessarily show, such as uh, teamwork, uh, time management, project management. These are really good uh, experiences for everybody. Um, if you want more technical work, there's also teams like there's robotics teams. Uh, there, I know there's automotive teams and, and others such teams like that. Um, not only do you get hands-on experience, but you also get to work with upperclassmen who can really show you the ropes. Um, these are also really great for surviving those classes that everybody complains about. You know, those, those first two year classes like your chemistry, physics, um, calculus. So uh, I'll definitely talk more about that in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one and thanks for watching.